Hello, hockey fans. Well, the Canadian series in the Pacific came to an end. And what a series it was. It was hard fought, gritty, and very dramatic. But in the end, only one Canadian team would be left standing after a very hard fought seven game battle. So, without further ado, the last Canadian team left in the Stanley Cup playoffs is. Canucks, boy, did you fuck this up. I mean, you're at home for game seven, and you lay this big ostrich egg. It's ridiculous. Don't, don't give me well, Brock Best was out. Even though he had seven goals this postseason, he's still one player. You still had Pedersen. You still had Lindholm. You still had Hughes, who's up for the Norris Trophy and may get it. You still had JT Miller. You should have all of those other weapons. Where the fuck were they? The only one who showed up was Arthur Shelov, the, the goalie. He was stopping everything in that while the team couldn't piece together three shots on goal. They only had two in the first period, and this was despite the fact that Vancouver had a four-minute double minor power play. Edmonton had more shots in that power play than, than Vancouver did. It was very pathetic. It was absolute. It was an absolute pathetic display. Vancouver didn't even bother to show up. It was like, well, Besser's out. Let's just phone it in because we have no chance. You had a chance. You showed it in the last minutes of the, the last few minutes of the third period. You woke up. Problem is, it was too late. The damage was done. I knew they weren't tied it. I really did. So, Vancouver's season ended earlier than it should have. And the Oilers, for the second time in three years, are in the are in the Western Conference Final. And for the third straight year, the Oilers are the last Canadian team left. Yeah. They've been the, la they, they, they've been the last Canadian team left in the, in the playoffs. Now three years straight. That, that was their fate last that was their fate last year and the year before. So Carmen David and Leon Dry Saddle are getting another taste of the final four. Will it be more successful than the last one? We'll see. But Canucks Gotta do better than that. We really do. I do think we may see some more long runs from them. This team is pretty deep. It all depends on what happens in the offseason, but this was a bad. This was a bad time to disappear. Sh uh, Shilovs deserved a much better fate than this. He was stopping everything. He was the only reason why it wasn't a laugher. All those pucks he faced, and yet it was only like it was three nothing after the second period. It could have been much worse. It could have been much worse. It could have been at least six seven nothing. So that is my recap of Game 7, the very end of the second round. Round 2, it's over. It is now on to the Final Four. And it'll start with these games. That's right, we all get to breathe. We all get to breathe tomorrow night. There's no hockey tomorrow night. But the Conference Finals starts on um, Wednesday. On Wednesday, it's the Eastern Conference Final between the Rangers and the Florida Panthers. Game one is Wednesday and, uh, at MSG. And on Thursday, it's game one of the Western Conference Final between the Stars and the Oilers. Game one is Thursday in Dallas. It's going to be big. I always, I always love that, that penultimate round, that last, that last round before the big one. Of course, the NH of course, the NHL and the NBA have the conference finals. The NFL has the conference championship. Of course, baseball has the, has the league championship series. That last that last bit before the big one, the t the, where the, 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 the finalists are decided, it's always good. And um, it's going to be a pretty interesting Final Four this year. So um, 
We'll see what ha- we'll see what happens in the East and the Eastern and Western Conference final. But I just want to say yes, Oilers, congratulations. They did play their asses off. They did in that game seven, and they stole it. They really did. So McDavid and Drysaddle are this close again. They have never won. A, they have never won a conference final game. This is why. But um, we'll see what happens here in the in the, in this year's final four. So that is my recap of Game Seven. If you like this video, click the like button. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe. If you want more, if you're on TikTok, feel free to hit that follow button. My story about the Canucks will be featured. So check it out when you can. And I'll be back tomorrow to get you ready for the conference final. It'll be a conference final preview. And then I'll recap game one of the East on Wednesday night. So stay tuned for all of that.